President Obama promises his administration will defeat any ISIS threat to the United States. In an address to the nation last night, the president said American warplanes will expand a bombing campaign into Syria for the first time. Bill Plant is at the White House. Bill, good morning. Good morning. The president wanted to demonstrate to the nation that he has a plan to destroy the terrorist group in Syria as well as in Iraq. Senior officials tell us that airstrikes against ISIS positions in Syria will begin as soon as intelligence identifies targets. I will not hesitate to take action against ISIL in Syria as well as Iraq. This is a core principle of my presidency. If you threaten America, you will find no safe haven. The president said his battle plan includes the expansion of airstrikes, an increase in support for partner forces on the ground, counterterrorism efforts to prevent attacks by ISIS on the U.S. and its allies, and humanitarian support for victims of ISIS attacks. But he insisted that the U.S. will not go it alone. America will lead a broad coalition to roll back this terrorist threat. Already, allies are flying planes with us over Iraq, sending arms and assistance to Iraqi security forces and the Syrian opposition, sharing intelligence and providing billions of dollars in humanitarian aid. As part of that effort, an additional 475 U.S. service members will deploy to Iraq to advise, conduct intelligence, and coordinate U.S. efforts, bringing the total number of U.S. troops there to more than 1,600. The president again promised that no U.S. combat troops will be involved on the ground. Airstrikes will support Iraqi forces and the newly formed Iraqi government. We cannot do for Iraqis what they must do for themselves. Nor can we take the place of Arab partners in securing their region. The president called on Congress to authorize training and funding to support moderate Syrian forces. I think that this should have been done, obviously, much more aggressively from the beginning. New Hampshire Republican Senator Kelly Ayotte was among several Republicans skeptical that the president would deliver on his promises. Because often he's given speeches, but following up on the actions that need to be taken against this dangerous group, I think, is what is going to measure what he said today in the following days. The administration officials say that the president does not need any additional authorization to take the fight to ISIS, that he can rely on existing law. But he does need Congress to vote on funds to train Syrian forces. This speech was his answer to the critics who say that he hasn't acted soon enough or firmly enough. Charlie? Bill, thanks.